Number 72, write the rate law for each of the following elementary reactions. And then we have this equation right here. So we have ozone, uh, when hit with sunlight, will give out O2 plus O. Yikes. <laughs> okay, so in this case, we just have to write a rate law for this elementary reaction. Now, if they are deeming that this is an elementary reaction, this means that it's just one single step. So whatever this is, take it at face value. That's all that you get. And these are pretty simple because elementary reactions abide by the same rate law rules, but just with one little trick or, you know, easier component. Here's the rate law for elementary reaction, and that's this right here. So if we are deeming that something is a, maybe I'll write this down, if something is an elementary, element, am I spelling this right? Elementary, elementary <laughs> reaction, uh, just know that it, it goes by the same rate law rules. Rate equals K times the concentration of the reactants, but now you are allowed to raise it to the coefficients. This is the only time that you're allowed to raise it to the coefficients because you only have this one single step. Generally, um, you've seen that sometimes the rate laws don't look like the same overall reaction. And that's because there's hidden steps inside of an overall reaction. But if they're saying that it's elementary, it's this one single step, that's all you got. So that's what we're gonna write, let's go for it. So in this case, rate equals, I guess we'll color it up, right? Rate equals K times the concentration of the reactants. What reactants do we have here? We have O3. So O3. That's the only reactant that I have. Sunlight is not a reactant because it is not on this side specifically. Usually when they put um, information on the top of an equation, it's what you had to add or maybe a catalyst, but it is not part of the reactant. So I don't have to put sunlight here. This is the only reactant that I see. So that's the only one that's gonna get included. And now we're just gonna raise it to the coefficients. In this balanced equation, I have one O3. So I just raise the O3 to the first. You can add the one, you don't have to, right? Anything raised to the first is, its, is itself anyway. So this would be the final answer. Let's make it all nice and pretty <laughs> by moving it over, you know, <laughs> one inch. Anyway, it's, you know, my mind, it's a little weird, but anyway. Um, that's it. That's the final answer. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments and I will talk to you in later lessons. Okay. Have an awesome, awesome day and keep studying hard. Bye-bye.